All right, so welcome to the Game Lounge, and uh, th this is another commentary. Um, this one, as you can see at the very bottom, is uh, Mega Man 2. I played this on the 16th of December. Um, <clears throat> this was a more uh, recent game. Uh, just finished playing. Everyone loves Mega Man, no matter what. Um, that's that was a, a game I grew up with, Mega Man 2 for the NES. Um, just showing my age, yes, Mega Man came out a long time ago, and um, at this point though, I came up with another theme, or uh, I, I went through some changes with with broadcasting over Twitch. Um, at this point, now I have Hitbox, Beam, and uh, and YouTube Gaming. So, uh, Beam and YouTube Gaming being the two new kids on the block, Hitbox and Twitch were pretty much the more prominent ones. But there's other websites out there, too, um, that you can stream to. But I just chose those four. So, but anyways, this is about Mega Man. It's not about Twitch or YouTube. This is about Mega Man and the commentary. Um, I played this small game because I made a change to uh, a recording. Or some of the software that I use. So without getting into it, um, like I said, this is more of my recent videos. First thing, the first big change is I came up with another theme, uh, theme song. It was more of a hip hop song to the video. <laughs> So, um, I, I found a website that that allows royalty-free music, which is cool. I was like, wow, royalty-free music. That's what I've been looking for. Um, if you pick any type of music, um, that artists want their money, you know. So, but you got a lot of enthusiasts out there that's like, hey, I just want to make music for the hell of it. You guys can use it for Twitch, YouTube, Beam, whatever. Um. But anyways, um, I chose this screen. Um, this was a more recent one, but this is not the current that I have now. Um, I had it so that there's just some pictures that would change, and this was my previous logo. I've had this logo for the last year or so now. Um, I think 2015, 2016, I've had this logo right here, but I changed it up. Um, to my, to, if you see my more recent videos, I've changed it up for then, but let's get right to it, man. This is, let's go to, let's go to something that I enjoy playing a lot. You know, when you play a game, you know, um, I, I there's a lot of games I don't have a screen to, I, I didn't put the camera on to, which is cool, but, um, it's just voice. 1988, man. You gotta ask yourself, where were you in 1988? If you were born in 1998, remember, this is 2016. So I'm thinking 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. If you're 21, you see what I'm getting at? Man. Um, that means you were born in 1995, you see what I'm saying, 94, 93, 92, 91, 90, 89 and 88, a lot of you streamers out there were born when this game dropped on the market by Capcom. Take a look at this. There was no, I, I like these games because when they make the plots, the plots are like cut and dry. There's no, 
it's nothing like this, man. It's nothing like this type, this game right here. This is Star Ocean for the PlayStation 3, man. Um, in the aftermath of World War 3. No, it ain't nothing like that, man. And you have, oh my God. What, what is going on here? See, you know, you, this game, when you have fucking Mega Man, there's only one way to fucking Mega Man. And that's to, that's to put the damn game on. And you take it to the robot's ass, man. That's all you do with this game. There's no... You know, you either jump or you shoot. Two, two moves. Jump and shoot. Was that like my video card? Just like... Acting bananas or some shit? So I'm probably gonna end up rebooting systems after this just to kind of refresh them. Alright, here we go. That was that was weird. My system was going bananas, man. Like I said, uh, this is for the Nintendo Entertainment System. And uh, when you started at this game, you either start from scratch or you start with a password that's designed for the game if you didn't write it down or if you had the power outage excuse me I almost yawned on internally um, if you didn't write this game down or if you didn't write the password down you're fucked you just gotta start over man sorry <laughs> so you probably can't hear me alright so that's a little better. Oh my god. Uh, just to stop real quick, uh, again, this is uh, just not introducing the game. I'm just really commenting on the game I like in the middle. You see where it says Dr. W? Nobody, like, I didn't never knew who Dr. fucking W was other than Dr. Y. I didn't know who he looked like. Because the story came up with just. Mega Man in the year 20XX. We all wait. First of all, when it said 20XX in the storyline, everyone back then thought, oh man, the year 2000 is the future. And our minds were set on having a futuristic city, a futuristic outfit, futuristic women, men. We can build robots that do things for us. But guess what, man? This ain't the future, man. You know what the future is? The year 10,000. A.D. But Dr. W., you know, they had, what's cool about Dr. W., his W looks like a mustache, and, his, and the doctor looks like eyes, and then the circle. Meaning, we don't really know what he looks like. But you had Bubble Man, Air Man, Quick Man, he had all these robots. And each robot was designed to outpower or overpower another robot. So, oh, let me do one other thing because I forgot. I need to do one other thing. So again, I use an emulator when I do these games. Uh, this is the BizHawk emulator. As you can see, I'm changing the settings. If I hit a key or a button. It's gonna cause the uh, if I jump and shoot, it's gonna cause the the game to fast forward or rewind, and it would mess me up. So I would I would remove and clear all the hotkeys. I thought so. I can tell when the hotkeys are on. You see, press a controller, a button on a Xbox One controller, and it speeds up. I just want that full NES experience. You know, I don't want the now I chose Metal Man because I learned that he's the first character that you have what to choose. If you didn't choose Metal Man, um, you will never beat the other robots in this game. Let's redo our config. Yep. So let's go some let's go some gameplay here. 
I love the soundtrack to these. Um, this again, this is the Nintendo Come Entertainment on, System. Dude. I love the soundtrack to his stage. Oh. Yeah, it gets annoying too. Um, he has those conveyor belts. You can see the arrows. This game is full of shenanigans. And they indicate which direction. Like, how do I get that? Okay, I guess I can't get it now. They indicate which direction that there's that they travel. But Metal Man, um, and you'll see once I get there, he he can change. He can make the conveyor belts change. What? You got a clown. Um, what's cool about this game? I liked when you shoot and kill an enemy, or you kill like um a bunch of enemies. Um, weapons and items drop, so. I was like, oh, that's cool. So, you know, you can get, um, it's the only way you can really get yourself back to 100%. But if you notice, this guy's bouncing on a, a sprocket, like a, a circus act, like he's in a circus act. So there's a lot of weird, weird things going on in this game. Let's keep going. All right, that's not so bad. It's not so bad. <laughs> So again, you know, you, you go through a lot of enemies. You go through um, Metal Man stage isn't really that that tough. Um, the cool part is when you get to a when you get to the boss. Um, let's go straight. To, let's go straight to the stage. When you get to a boss, man, um, I thought the boss music really just pumped me up whenever I get to. The, any of the any of their stages so let's check it out let's do this so whenever you uh fight against metal man if you approach him he automatically jumps to the other side and he changes the conveyor belt as you can see when, when it happens See, he just changed it to the right. And every time you jump and fire, he throws one of his sprockets at you. It's really easy to beat. I'm going to do the other one like later. Uh, Mega Man versus Street Fighter. I got to get the binary again to install it and uh, get it to work with the Xbox uh, controller. But that one was really fun. So again, I like how this game, you know, every time you beat a boss, you get a power up from that boss. In this game, I got the metal blade, so really wasn't much. Um, didn't, didn't find any hidden secrets, it's just, you get the metal blade and then you beat the next boss, which is uh, Woodman. So I chose Woodman next. <laughs> So let's go here. Or this guy. Our boy, Woods Man. <laughs> In the woods. And he has another. Uh, here's another stage with some awesome some music. In from it. Hitbox. And uh, I did this one on Hitbox, as you can, Ew. as you just heard. What? Because I just redid my channel on the Hitbox. To match game lounge 78. Get out of here. I ain't gonna fight all y'all. Okay. And as I and as I said before. Um, you, you kill an enemy, he drops um, power ups. And Woodman stage isn't that bad either. But when I when I meant that um, you have to um, use another boss's weapon to beat that boss, let's go take a look at what I did to uh, Woodman with 
metal with the metal blade. Freaking chickens, man. Yeah, those chickens will hop right over your head, but you can't. You have to time it and not run away. Oh, that that ripped him apart. It's just, it did some really high damage to him. <laughs> that destroyed him. But one more, one or two more hits, I would have been done by one man too. So yeah, my encoder, I, I gotta. So again, I, I like Mega Man. Um, this was this was a a game I just played. This was Mega Man Two. Um, very very interesting game. Um, I plan to play this again. Um, maybe tomorrow, maybe today, or later on today. But thanks for watching, and um, happy gaming.